Ta -da. Good evening, everyone. Ta da! We're here. We're done. You guys missed it. Where have you been? Just kidding. I'm a few minutes late coming on. That's the normal. You guys, if you ever can't find me right at 6, you need to wait till 6.05 and then I'll be there. That's how I roll. Uh, it's a lifestyle choice at this point. So oh, I, at this point? At this point, yeah. We're 42 years in and no signs of stopping. Still going strong. So 6.05. We can change that on social media if need be. Uh, you guys, my name is Brandy. I am with Brushed by Brandy, and I paint here with you guys live every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern. I am a Dixieville Paint brand ambassador, um, and I'm here with my husband, Sean, and Sean is uh, going to do some fancy camera work for us tonight. Pyrotechnic show. <laughs> pew, maybe. pew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's here to answer any questions you have. No topics are off limits, almost. So pop on and ask questions as you go. Um, what we are working on tonight, I should have brought my transfers out here and I did not. Um, I might send you to run into the house. What? I mean, walk briskly. Wait, you really need me to go get Yeah, can you go into the front room and get that? There's the box on the floor. It's my new transfers. That's my stuff you're packing up for me? Yeah, yeah. Sean's going to be missing for a minute. Don't ask any of the good pertinent stuff right now. He'll be right yeah. back. So, uh, the chests that I'm working on are these here. And I did, uh, I did all of the moldings on here, and I did these live with Would You Bend moldings. This is Would You Bend molding right here. This is all done with Would You Bend, because these were really plain print chests. And so I used Would You Bend moldings, and I created a frame inside there, and I'm going to use this frame to add some shading around. It gives me something to draw interest to, to the front of these really, really plain chests. And then I used a molding up here to take this top drawer, which is the same size as all the other ones, but by adding a molding here, it shrinks this down so it looks like an accent drawer. And then I'm gonna be adding some stripes across the front of here. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint on this. This is just my rough base coat last night. I sat out here and played around with colors and I moved some colors around to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. He's back. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring the gray up quite this far, and I, I did end up bringing it up, so, so I think I kind of got it figured out the look that I want to go with. And then, my plan from here is I'm going to use a transfer to, um, to kind of tie this all together. So this is a custom order, and her requests were glam, romantic, bling, um, just, you know, soft and pretty. And so I think this might be the transfer that I go with. I think this will be pretty. And I could cut up pieces of this and add it around this frame here. I do have another option of transfer I might use, but that is one option that I think actually looks really good with these colors. Can you slow it down for my pyrotechnics later? Yeah, sorry. Okay, thank you. Which is really just catching stuff on fire, guys. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise, but that's all it is. Yes. So that's really pretty with these colors here. I mean spot on. So the colors I've got on here so far, and the colors I'm going to continue to use tonight, I've got some fluff, Dixie Belle fluff, which is a white, um, up here in the center, and then a little bit of pink champagne, which is a really soft blush color um, as it comes out here, a little bit of Dixie Belle tea rose, which is a dusty rose color, and then my gray is actually hurricane gray. So I am going to show you how to use that gray under a lighter color just to use it for shading. Because um, you'll notice my my um, my hurricane gray is actually really light on here. Uh, yes, you have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see you have a question. I do have a question. Uh, so it was kind of posed to me at how I like the QLED TV. Oh how, man. How, how is it? Should I ask? No, you should not. Ask. Okay. So what Sean's talking about, you guys? So here's my colors. I have fluff. This is pink champagne, fluff and pink champagne. Pink champagne is so light, it, it, it almost leans to a white with a, with a tint of pink. That's my tea rose, and then hurricane gray. How pretty is that color combo right there? So those are my colors. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I actually wanna mix up a little bit of my pink champagne, and I'm gonna tint it with a bit of tea rose. Cause I, I like the pink champagne color, it's a little too light. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of tea rose and just tint it to the color that I want, which is slightly darker. So I'm just going to pour some pink champagne in here. 
That literally pink champagne. 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 No, what Sean's talking about is we um, got a TV from Costco. By the way, it was Firewall June that threw that one oh, out Oh, yes, yeah, she knows. Uh -huh. She knows. Uh -huh. um, we got a TV from Costco. And this is nothing bad about Costco. I love Costco. I have nothing bad to say about them at all. And uh, it had a sound issue. And so we, uh, it was still under warranty. So we complained about it. And what they told us to do is what you want to do is you want to put your TV out on the porch, right? Then a guy in a van is going to show up at your house, right? This is everything they tell you not to do on like true crime stories. So I just took a little drop of my tea rose and when I mix colors, I mix them slowly. So it makes it hard when people come back and they want to know measurements on a mixture because I'll usually, and now I feel like I want a little bit more tea rose. I want this just slightly darker. So I'm going to mix it again. Oh, just a little spoonful. It's about a teaspoon and I'll mix that in. And I mix roughly enough paint that I think I can get through my project. Now don't think that sometimes I don't have to remix the paint. That happens. And now I'm gonna compare this to my pink champagne. It's still pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of my tea rose. This is how I mix colors. Um, I'm less than a 50-50 mixture. I'm heavier on the pink champagne than the tea rose at this point. Okay, so they told us to put our TV out on the porch and a guy in a van is gonna show up and take our old TV and give us a new one. Well, he sure did. He took our TV that had a minor sound problem but still was functional and left us a TV that has a totally broken screen on the front. So then we could not watch TV at all. This just happened yesterday. So I did a live and we were talking about my TV problems. Then they're telling us it's going to be two more weeks to get said guy to come back and drop us off a new TV with his van and our old one is already gone. We could not get it back. So right now I have a very low opinion of some of these big companies and their customer service departments. COVID is like their excuse for doing nothing, doing nothing for you whatsoever. They can do that in the name of COVID and I'm getting tired of it. Stacy's catching you live uh, on uh, full size TV, 55 inch. I'm kind of jealous huh? right now. We'll be watching on our, I don't know, our cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have a TV in our bedroom, but. Okay, so I've mixed my tea rose and my pink champagne. It's just slightly darker than pink champagne is. It actually turned it a little bit dusty too. It's a little bit more dusty than the pink champagne is. Why don't you hold it lower? Well, I don't want to spill my paint either. Oh, this is when you're worried about smelling paint? This time? So I just tinted it a little bit. It made it a little bit more dusty, a little bit more pink than just the pink champagne on its own. And that about wraps up what I'm going to use this for. And from here on out, I'm going to use my pink champagne mixture. Because my right pink. Uh, okay, you guys, I also brought out, here's something that I want to share with you guys. Before we get started painting, I am going to start painting in just a second. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen this? This is Hot Off the Presses. This is the new Bell Magazine. So this is the second issue that Dixie Bell's put together of Bell Magazine. It's extremely well done, you guys. I'm really proud of how well done this publication is. So. Does anybody recognize that cover art right there? Should I go get a Sharpie? No, I, can't. I only have one copy, so we can't deface this. No drawing mustaches on it at all. <laughs> Especially here, let me show you. Especially this page right oh, here. Oh yeah, I was totally gonna. No mustaches on that whatsoever. So, um, uh, these are my pieces here on the cover. In fact, we did some of these live. I did some of this live. Yeah. Yeah, I have videos with these. Mm -hmm. I, we, I did. I know I did the uh, stenciling live. I think I did some of the paint live too. Definitely have some of those. So anyway, it's a really well done magazine. They have some articles in here written by some of us brand ambassadors, uh, some of the Dixie Bell retailers. There's uh, some tutorials in here, some stories. I'm gonna just show you guys. So I got stories? to write an article here. This is the story of the Dixie Bell brand ambassador program. Um, once that I got to write time. once upon a time in a castle in a faraway land. And so that's a few pages here. Uh, I mean, it's just really well done. I don't want to flip through it all because uh, I don't want to give away everything. Kristana got a little snippet in there. By snippet, I mean a two page spread. We hate her. Tracy's got a 
got a spread in here. It's really well done. It's a beautiful, beautiful magazine. Uh, the back cover, this is by Faf Designs. Beautiful back cover. So this is available online, you guys, at my link um, that I put above in the post. If you go to, I think it's under, uh, what's it under? Dixie Bell Swag. Is that where I found it? So I may have 200 boxes showing up at the house here in the next couple yeah, of days. Yeah, don't sell them out tonight, you guys. I told my mom earlier that I would order her one. I haven't done it yet. So don't sell them out just yet. I need to get one more copy. Then you can have them. Anyway, that'll be on my uh, coffee table if you come to my house. But it is available online. So if you guys want to, uh, and our uh, retailers will have that as well. So check with your local retailer. Um, I'm gonna tip these up and I'm just gonna tip it up against the piece that's behind me and that just makes it easier for me to work on. Now, this paint coat has all kinds of flaws in it. It's got floor coverage over here. It's got a spot over here that didn't cover very well. My blending is terrible. This is just my base coat. This was letting me conceptualize. Where do I want the gray to end? Where do I want paint? Um, how do I want them to come together? I am using the Dixie Bell sanding sponge, and I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to brush this base coat of paint. These chests are um, mahogany, and man, they were bleeders. I struggled with these. They've got three coats of Dixie Bell floss on them. Um, Basically, they kept bleeding, and when that happens, some woods are just way more stubborn than others. Mahogany is a known bleeder. I just kept putting coats of boss on it until they stopped discoloring. And that magic number for me was three. So I'm going to start out right here around the center. I'm going to try to not block the cameras, you guys. Um, and I'm going to start out with just about fluff. Let me open my paint. <laughs> Sheila, she sees that little bo jewelry box over on the left. Oh, it's so cute, Sheila. I don't have time for jewelry boxes right now. It's so cute. I don't know if I can part with that one. Yes, Erin, that is my laundry over there in the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is where we keep it. Seems appropriate, right? <laughs> this is the uh, biohazard containment unit. <laughs> yeah, it has to come out here and be decovidized before I'll let Sean bring his clothes in the house. That's where our laundry comes to die. That's literally old. Our, our towels go from bath towels to pool towels to shop towels. That's their life cycle in our house. They come here to die. Uh, old socks are great for staining. I pick up old bed sheets from thrift stores are great for covering finished pieces uh, while I'm storing them. Oh gosh. Towels, I like towels a lot. I, I use those for covering tops. Um, t-shirts, cut those up and make t-shirt rags or use them just as, as they are. So this is Dixie Bell Fluff and I'm just gonna put this right around the center. I'm gonna kind of focus on the center area right here and then I'm gonna work my way out. <laughs> what level are the ginger towels? <laughs> oh, ginger. Okay, and this is my um, pink champagne mixture. It is really hot, you guys. It is going to be 109 degrees. The heat is hard on your paint. When it's hot, you're going to notice. This is my pink champagne. I'm going to call it pink champagne. It's my pink champagne mixture. Just know that I tinted my pink champagne with a little bit of tea rose. So if I say pink champagne, I'm talking about the mixture. Um, it's really hot. I'm going to use a lot of water today. I know that already. I don't even want my paint to start getting sticky. So I just put a little bit of pink champagne. Pink champagne and fluff um, are an easy combo. I'm going back with my brush from my uh, Dixie Bell fluff. And I'm just gonna hide where they can come together a little bit. Just brushing right over where they come together with my brush from my fluff. Kind of whitens it up a little bit, cleans it up. And then I'm going to take another new brush, which is my Hurricane Gray. Okay, on the Hurricane Gray, Hurricane Gray is a fairly dark color. I'm going to use so little Hurricane Gray tonight, so little. So I just tipped my brush in it, very little paint. Make sure I have some water because it's going to be such a thin layer. 
and I'm just going to put it over right over top of this rope molding right here. I'm going to go right over the top. I'm going to go outside of my box, and that's okay because I'm going to come address that part later. But for right now, I don't want to have it stop right there. So I'm letting it go right outside of my molding box. You know what? Because of the sheen, let's try something else. How does this look, guys? Okay, so in addition to using very little paint, I brushed it right into my pink champagne. I'm gonna take the brush from my pink champagne, water, keep it wet, and I'm gonna work that in. And it becomes just a little bit of shading in my pink champagne paint. Because it's got that dark paint underneath, it's just gonna shade it just a little bit. Okay. So what's the, going by color tier, what's the lightest pink? Um, it's actually a white. I've got Dixie Belle Fluff is in the center here. And then this is a mix of pink champagne that I tinted with a little bit of tea rose just to darken it a bit. So I'm, I've technically got three colors, but one is a color mix. Okay, this is my Hurricane Gray. I'm gonna paint it over. I'm gonna tip my brush and get a little more paint on that. And I'm just gonna put it right over the top of this molding. I do wanna make sure my molding is all covered that I don't have gaps there. So right over the top of that molding, I'll soften these corners up a little bit, and then I'm going to take and make sure this is wet. My brush with pink champagne, I'm going to brush it right over the top of that hurricane gray. And it leaves a little bit of that hurricane gray underneath, and it just becomes a little bit of shading. I brush pink champagne right over the top of it. Can you still see how what a soft shading that is? So a uh, you know, a comparable product for that would be to you, you could use waxes or Dixie Dirt for that. I'm using paint to just add a little bit of shading. Just cleaning up my pink champagne a little bit. Just tipping my brush, so little paint. Oh, we got a boom going on now? That's how we roll. Kick it up a notch. My pyrotechnic has to like set aside. Okay, I'm going to come back with that big. brush. I'm not adding any paint to it. This was my brush for my Hurricane Gray. And I'm just, it's got super diluted Hurricane Gray on it. And I'm just going to use that to darken up, up right along these moldings a little bit. Right. Are we looking so far? I'm just paying attention to this box right now. I'm not going to get lost on all the areas around it. This is a clean, dry brush that I'm just using to kind of soften up my paint a little bit, but I think I like just the box. Stay inside the box. I think I like that area. So I'm going to come down here, and then I'll start working my way up a little bit. Clean up some of this down here. So I'm going to take my Hurricane Gray, because that's what I've got going on down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and paint this in. I also thought about on this one adding some... Um, silver, some um, silver bullet metallic over the top of this gray, and the silver could be really pretty um, with these colors. I'm going to have silver and gold. Wait till I turn these and I show you guys the sides of them. There's going to be pattern and softness and romance. These are actually Sean's anniversary present. What? Yes. Surprise! Anniversary? Just kidding. Oh, it's their anniversary? What? Huh? Oh, Sean just left. He has to go shopping. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> you guys are 17 year wedding anniversary is on. Do you remember? Huh? <laughs> it's on Sunday. What? We will be COVID celebrating by doing nothing. Are you relieved right now? What? Okay. So I just cleaned that up with some Hurricane Gray. I did touch up this little lip right here underneath. I have a spot right here that I just want to make sure I get coverage on. Very little Hurricane Gray in there. Come on, want to come over? Uh, Mom, um, your new Dixie Bell ordered. Um, I'm trying to open it. Okay, you can open it. You want to tell the people what just came in the mail? I don't even know because I can't open it. What do you think is in there? Do you think paint just came? Yeah. Alright you guys, we have a really important announcement for, um, my, for my son. But did you open it? Um, not right now. If you wait till I'm done, I will. Okay. Or you can ask boys for help. My Dixie Bell paint order has arrived. 
I do want to say if you've been um, ordering online to uh, to let you guys know that Dixieville, um, when COVID first hit, um, orders were taking a little bit longer and they're they're back to normal shift times. So that was a huge effort too, that we everybody was really patient through um, struggling with COVID requirements and heavier orders, and we've gotten that back to normal. So that's really like you know, a huge accomplishment for them to keep order time as normal right now. Okay, I'm gonna come back, this is my Hurricane Gray. And same thing I did last time, very little paint. And now I'm gonna come go right back over it with my uh, pink champagne. I got a little bit on this side that I don't want, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. It's a back and forth, you guys. I frequently will go back over the same spot a few times. And then we're going to do the bottom right here. And I'm going to bring my pink champagne down a little bit into this hurricane gray because I don't want it quite so dark, but it's really soft up here. So I'm going to get a little bit more pink champagne and I'm going to brush it right into the wet hurricane gray that I put across the bottom. And I'm going to let it, let it do the same thing where that hurricane gray just goes underneath the paint and that it, it gives it a low light under the paint. That little low light is enough just to look like some shading. Like a, like a dark wax almost. Only I've done it with paint. And then I'm coming back and I'm cleaning up this hurricane gray. brush it right into that pink champagne again so I know that I've got a good mix of the two it's not too pink it's not too gray it just looks like a little bit of shading under my paint you guys see that it's really subtle it's really pretty with these two colors the pink and the gray go really good together but it just looks like a little bit of shading and all I did was brush a little bit of that hurricane gray right under my lighter pink color I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep doing this over and over again. I'm going to do the same thing over here to kind of frame out these sides. I'm going to try to not impact the areas I've already done, but don't be surprised if you do when you touch an area you already did and you have to go back and touch it up. So I've got a really diluted coat. I'm going to do the same thing over here so that I can work the center. I'm just using two colors right now, which is my um, pink champagne mix and a little bit of hurricane gray. Keeping it wet, and I'm going to brush it right over the top. I want it to be a little bit darker as it comes out to the edges. I can brush right over the top, and then I will just take that brush that's got that hurricane gray in it, and I'll just true that area back up a little bit. This corner well, where it all converges is going to be a little bit harder, so I'll have to be a little bit careful in this area. So I'm going to come clean this up. Okay, this is my brush with that hurricane gray in it. Remember I told you if I just want to true it up, I just come back after I brush the pink champagne in it. I didn't add any paint. I'm just using whatever's left in the brush. I'm going to fix this corner where they all came together and clean that up so it wraps the corner really nicely. So I'm seeing this dry a little bit and I don't really care for how it's going so I might come back down here and redo that section and then I'm going to smooth this out. So just to kind of recap, you do intend on where you're kind of playing with the idea as far as putting a transfer on? I'm going to, it's definitely going to have a transfer. So I don't think we'll get to the transfer tonight, but what I want to do is I want to have some big flowers kind of in the corners here, maybe here coming up this edge and it'll go into the center a little bit and then maybe a little bit coming from this down. See how it, this frame right here gives me something to kind of grow them around, you know? So I'll have it come from the corners, opposite corners, and then go into the box a little bit. There's going to be some stripes up here. All this molding is going to be done in metallics. And where'd you get that molding? 
Uh, this is Would You Bend. This is all Would You Bend molding, and Would You Bend is available on the Dixville website and through the Dixville retailers. So the link that I put above in the post, you can find your Would You Bend molding there. So I took, and I actually did it all on camera, and I took these really flat print chests and added a little bit of molding. This is drying, and I don't really care for how it looks, so I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. Totally normal. Teresa was asking where your cameraman is, so I guess I can't be quiet. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's not working at all. Now he's sleeping on the job. It's like no one's doing anything back there. Huh? Um, it's kind of funny. I was thinking like Friday or Thursdays are always the end of the, kind of the end of the week for us because it symbolizes yay I got I did my live like. Yay! I still get to work tomorrow. <laughs> we still have another day of the week, but this is like this feels like the end of the week for me always. So when I sign off, I sign off. Do you guys like it's a weekend? And I know people still go to work the next day. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'm not going to try to get over there because I'd have to swing to the other side and put my back in front of the camera. So let's come up to the top. I want to show you the sides of these. Okay, let's come clean this top up a little bit. I put some fluff up here. Um, I like this. It's nice and soft, but I need to fix. See this spot right here? <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was brainstorming the anniversary idea. Yeah, <laughs> he's over there panicking, like, what, <sighs> what can I get delivered? Come on, Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> what can I get delivered with, like, a 24-hour notice? The best gift ever. Do I want to know? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, my gosh. Oh, great. Bad again? I can't wait. Uh, yeah. Love those leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you go be sure you have stuff? Oh, what did I get? Oh, I'm going to go get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think my Dick's Bell paint order is about to arrive outside. I have a feeling it includes paint? a lot of paint. What? Order, well, some orders, like sometimes I'll need to stock up on clear coat. This was a paint. Oh, uh, this was actual paint. paint. Stock up, yeah. Had a little globby in my paint. I just, just took that off with my fingernail. We're going to call him globby. Okay, little tiny bit of hurricane gray. I'm using so little of the hurricane gray here. I mean, can you even tell there's any paint on that huh? brush? But it's enough that with a little bit of water. Oh, Mom, two melted in the package. Oh, no. Two. Oh, I know what it is. You guys want that melted in the package. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Here, let's see your Here's pocket. That's okay. How are you carrying that, Logan? I'm carrying it in my shirt. I know. <laughs> do you guys want to see these? You do. Uh, okay, I'm still painting this There's one. a ton. So I'm going to show Come you guys something. Woo, good job. Oh, yeah, Sheila, way to go, since I've only said his name no, like 10 times. Big ones. Um, is there a piece of cardboard out here? Come on now. Do you guys want to see well, the you got new... a box sitting right behind you. Do you guys want to see the new Dixieville Gilding Waxes? <clears throat> if you don't, I understand. If you don't, that's your cue to say, we want to play these show us the new Gilding Waxes. They gave us permission to. So I'm going to show you guys want to see the new Gilding Waxes? They literally just came in the mail while I'm live. Okay, I'm tear this then is that really the mail? I'm going to tear this piece of cardboard off of one oh, of man. check out these new gilding ones. These are coming soon, but you guys can see them at least. Uh, they're super Did you just try to soft. sniff paint? Well, I like to see the smell. It's got kind of a lavender -y smell. I'm going to just take a little bit out of the lid. Watch how creamy they are. Oh, we have gold too. Gold. 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 Oh, oh. Too much. Oh, oh. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Too much. Too much. Oh, one more. One more? Way no. more. No way. These are the new Dixieville Gilding Waxes. Watch this go on. This is gold. Oh. You guys see how smooth that is? Super smooth and creamy. If you guys remember, our old gilding waxes were a little firm. 
these, this, these have totally solved it. This is the silver, super smooth and creamy. Just a little bit on my finger and you can tell how saturated the colors in them are. Pretty. That's silver. Silver and gold. So let's see, if I put a little bit, of, I think she wants gold actually. I was gonna put silver in, but I think she wants gold. I'm, I have to paint this still, but if I put a little bit of this, you'll be able to see. I can't really see that spot, it's super small. On this molding right here, this is where we're going with this piece. Here we go. Goldie. Good job, Luke. Oh, there's a, uh, whole, there's a have, whole bunch, baby. You we, don't... Have, we have three more, there, just three. Um, go get them. Sweetie, you don't have to bring this all out. It's a lot. I know what I ordered. They don't want to carry it all out here. Okay, when do they become available and are they water based? Um, no, I believe they're oil based. I don't have a lot of information on these yet, you guys. <clears throat> that new. I don't also don't have a release date except that we can start sharing them. So, that means they're coming soon. If I can tell you guys about it. This color is called lilac. This is, there's a couple colors that are iridescent. The lilac is one of the iridescents. That's an iridescent. That's what it looks like in the container and look how it goes on to a dark color. Dixie Bell, if you're, uh, I, I won't even ask you guys that because I don't think there is a release date for us Loaded yet. question. Yeah, I won't even try to go there. Dad, get it loaded. As soon as I know, you guys will know. This color is called cactus. It's another one of the iridescents and it shows up as a green. It shows up as a green iridescent on dark colors. So that the iridescents I think do better on dark colors. On lighter colors, they're just gonna add that little bit of iridescent shimmer. So mom, yes. uh, it's like a golden greenish. It's called, ready for it? Holy guacamole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that no? <laughs> Holy guacamole. Okay, this one's called apricot. This is another. Wait a minute, one. Logan. What's that one called? <laughs> this is apricot. This is another one of the iridescents. I'll put these together. Shows up as a as an apricot. It's a <clears throat> shimmery, pinky, uh, coral. Needs a little more coral. Can you guys see these? Do they show up on camera? Okay. Let me, if I move it, can you see the color in there? Really pretty. That apricot's beautiful. I would put it over apricot. That would be really pretty over any of the pinks, like plum crazy. Keep going. You guys like the gilding waxes? I will paint again. Yes. Bronze. Bronze. This is a really <laughs> rich bronze. Just got these in the mail today, you guys. Okay, this is our bronze. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I get it. You found one? No. Um, okay, so there's been this whole conversation that the samples uh, have arrived with the lids for the copper and the bronze mix, and I was like, huh, what do you mean? They are, they're, they're for reverse. So what I just told you was bronze is actually copper. That was our copper. This is the bronze. You can tell just by looking at the color, and the lids were mixed up. These are just samples, you guys. And as of right now, none of these are out. Yes, these are not out yet, but know that they're coming. And this way you guys can see the formulation and how smooth they are. What an improvement they are um, over our gilding waxes before, which were really firm. They were a little more subtle and shimmery. And this has, they're creamy and smooth and saturated now. So I like, I love the reformulation. It's beautiful. And this color is called gray zinc charcoal these are just sample packages you guys they don't come uh, they don't come wrap this i see i don't get wrapping i get sharpie i get sharpie what, co what color is that i'm not complaining gray zinc how many Can't shades does it have uh 50. <laughs> 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 roughly hang on let me carry the 150. yeah Ooh, that's pretty crazy Set it up, you knock it down. 
would put that right next to the bronze. Those are the darker colors. So you do a little bit more on my finger. It's super creamy. Like it doesn't take hardly any. And I pick it up. So these containers last forever. These are just samples. You guys don't uh, admire the beautiful packaging on these. Okay. Can you guys see all the colors? That's all the colors, right? Did I get them all? Yeah. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. Ah, ah, ah. Hang on. <laughs> eight colors. Ta-da! You guys have officially seen the new reformulated Dixie Belle waxes before anybody else has seen them. I don't think they've been on camera yet. There you go. There you go. Uh, we might as well just sign off right now. Yeah, I can't talk about that. So, <clears throat> lilac, cactus, apricot, gold, silver, copper, bronze, and zinc. Pretty, pretty. Okay? It's paint. The paint's drying over here. No, we don't got time for that. Okay. So where were we? Where you were, were like we? painting or something ridiculous. Eruption. I'm trying to clean up this corner right here, I can tell. And I'm just taking the pink and kind of wrapping it around this corner. I've got my fluff in the center and then my hurricane gray out here. So I'm going to take my brush with my pink champagne. I need to get this wet again, so I'm going to use my mister bottle. I want to keep it nice and wet. I'm going to lay on my <clears throat> pink champagne, which is actually a mixture of pink champagne and tea rose. It's my paint is tinted because I wanted to shade just a little bit lighter than pink or just a little bit darker than pink champagne on its own. Take a little bit of my fluff, just clean up that center area right there. Brush the fluff into that pink champagne. Come down here and I, I got a little bit of my gray up too high so I'm just going to cover that. Just covering that up. And then I can take oh, thanks, Aaron. Perfect. I think I got this one in the bag. <laughs> Wait, what are they suggesting? Anniversary <laughs> gifts. <laughs> Dixie Bell paint, anyone? You know what the 17th anniversary is? <clears throat> Furniture. <laughs> yes. if that Good looking even, out. If that's even true, get it the floor. Good looking <laughs> out. Yes. <laughs> Done. Come on, I got Aaron. this. I feel like you just sold me out. <laughs> just what I need, like a hole in the head. Why Way to go. Why don't you just make 17th anniversary paint? Okay. Yeah, 17th anniversary's gilding waxes. <laughs> Come on. I have your back all the time. We'll see. We'll Look, see. I went over above and beyond. How many pieces of furniture do we have? <laughs> yeah, this is I got this. <laughs> I don't know. I feel totally robbed right now. I feel totally robbed. I feel like 17 years of my life has been wasted. It's so weird. We feel the same. All right. So I never added any paint to my brush of that hurricane gray. I just used what was in my brush tiny bit of paint and a little bit of water. It creates a really diluted version of the Hurricane Gray that I can almost use like a watercolor and I just shade it in with my, um, with my paint color. So let's look at the sides of these. I'm gonna turn this without finishing this rent because I think the sides are gonna be more interesting. Because, can you guys see what's on the sides here? Might need to move. Oh, you I need mean, to move I mean, already. I mean, out of the house. You need to, yeah. <laughs> Not that I don't trust Aaron, but I'm gonna need somebody to fact check this. So you guys see what I did as a the CYA. Side of this? I put a textured wallpaper. If you guys watched me a couple weeks ago on the same page, we did textured wallpaper on the back of a hutch. I have gilding wax all my finger and I don't want to get on my paint. I did that same textured wallpaper, only I, I applied it the same exact way with a wallpaper paste on the side of these chests. Can I tell you guys something? You may look at this and think. Oh, it's going to be way harder to blend. Let's do this side right here. Because watch when, how you, when you see how easy it bam, is bam. to blend over texture. I'm going to get my surface nice and wet. It's just got a base coat on it, a rough cup coat. Nice and wet. This is my fluff. 
And if it, you settle down a little bit, I'm going to try to get on in there. It is way easier, in my opinion, to blend paint over a texture. In this case, the subtle texture of the uh, paintable wallpaper on the sides of these chests. My son just dropped my whole paper <laughs> right here. I'm going to move it out of the way. Lots of water. Making sure that I'm getting in between all these crevices. So I brushed it vertically and then to make sure I've got coverage because it's a textured surface, I'm brushing it horizontally. Make sure I get into the crevices up here at the top, crevasses. Okay, I just brushed on some fluff. It's a little abrupt. Now I'm gonna take my uh, pink champagne tinted with tea rose making sure it's nice and wet around the edges. Where'd you get that paper? This is off of, uh, gosh, I've had this paper for a couple years. Okay, it is Anaclypta wallpaper from Amazon. I've got it in my Amazon shop. If you guys go to the post that's pinned to the top of my Facebook page at Brush by Brandy, there's a post pinned to the top. There's a link in there that has my Amazon shop. I have this in my Amazon shop. And find it super easy. Okay, I like this pink champagne with the tea rose. It's a very, very, very soft pink. Very nice and romantic. Perfect for anniversary. Exactly, Seven. and it's a furniture That's piece. 17 years. I highly recommend this. It's, a, fur it's, it's a furniture piece. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back with my brush for my fluff, and I'm just going to brush that white back out into the pink champagne. I'm, the texture helps. The two light colors together help. This is about as easy as it's gonna get. The word is <laughs> the word furniture. Oh, is Brittany on? Okay, now I'm gonna take my um, Hurricane Gray, same thing, I'm just gonna tip my brush. My paint's getting a little skin on the top of it because I've been chatting for too long. It's not being <laughs> there we go. Okay. Just tipped my brush, same thing, water. <laughs> Just gonna hit, You're welcome, Sheila. Hit the edge. I made it subtle, but she caught it. What did she catch? That I got the jewelry box in, the, oh. in this picture. <laughs> it's a cute one. I should pick it up and show you, Sheila. It's really cute. Okay, I went ahead and painted my drawer sides in the gray, and then, you know, on the front, I did the gray on that corner, so it wraps the corner really nicely. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the front. I'm gonna let this uh, hurricane gray brush into that pink champagne mixture so it just looks like a little bit of shading, even like a dark wax, but it's all done with paint. Montresa says it's uh, almost her anniversary too, yes. 40 years. Whoa, happy anniversary. I guess That's I better pick the right piece of furniture just yeah. to make it to at least 18. Oh, wait, I hope you know that furniture doesn't stay the anniversary gift for the next. Oh, thanks, Ann. We banked it. Done, sold. It's furniture. <laughs> Ann looked it up too. It really yep. is I'm so disappointed right now. Oh. Oh. I, I just remember, I think it's our 18th anniversary. Somebody look that up for me. Is it better? Is it better? <laughs> 16th? Anything. Give me something. <laughs> okay, I'm just coming back with that little brush of Hurricane Gray. Okay, we just did the entire side of this. And what was that? Maybe seven minutes? Furniture. The entire side of this. And I, I'm happy with it. The texture helps, the light colors together help, this piece of my hair in my paint does not help. Better yours than mine. Yeah, yeah this is true. It's yours. it's yours, I got a lot of questions. Super easy side. The texture actually helps. I think it's 10 times like easier texture. to blend over the top of texture. So if you're struggling with it, throw some wallpaper on there, give it a blended coat over top. It's easier, you guys, it's not harder. I'm just cleaning up these little corners where it wraps onto the top of my piece. I'm, I love See, it. See, I was thinking ahead. That's why you have dining room chairs. Come on. 
<laughs> that was my guess. See? The molded one. <laughs> the molded dining room chairs. Cost Plus World Market and Vizio, you guys. Cost Plus World Market and They're in that bad Vizio. creek this week. Yeah, they're, they're in my creek. They're submerged in my creek with their heads underwater and me holding them down just a little bit. Wow. So that's about it. I think this is a beautiful color combination. It's very soft, very subtle. Show you guys again with the transfer that I plan to put on top of this. What these colors look like together with this transfer. And this is one option. I have another one I'm thinking of too. I'm not 100% sure. This is the Hardine de Roses transfer. Huh? By Hocus Pocus. Pokey Pokey. I'm gonna call it that. I think that's a really pretty color combination. If I take the backing up. Oh, hold on. I need to scroll back. Susan wrote something good. I need to like copy that and put it on a card. Ran over. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. for wedding bells, wedding bells for us. For my next one. Yeah. Be my guest. Okay, so that's what I have for you this week. A really great color combination, I think. Really great color combination. Little tiny bit of paint and a little bit of water underneath a. a whatever color you're using, and you can create a little bit of shading by just using that little bit of paint under your, your paint color. Um, anyway, I've got to finish these up. We should be done this week. Over here looks okay. I didn't touch that side at all, but I like what's going on over here. I think I need to fix right here. A couple spots. So anyway, I will touch these up, finish up that paint job, but know that I can get through the sides of them in all of five minutes. Um, which is awesome. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, again, keep an eye out for the new Dixville waxes coming soon. Coming soon. Um, you guys go check out the second issue of Bell Magazine, which is out available on the website. It's beautiful. It has articles written in it by um, some of our brand ambassadors, some of our retailers. It's just a really well done publication. It's 40 pages, heavyweight paper, beautiful photos. Um, just, just a gorgeous publication that they put together. I'm really proud to be a part of it. Leave me one on the website. I gotta order one for my mom. Kristana, um, breath of life design, some tips on tools. Tips on OCC has tips on finding inspiration. Dying fabric. Oh my gosh. Okay. That order by furniture. That's it. That's all you get. Stop. Go order it. <laughs> so go check that out. That's on the website. Someone also too. mentioned they wouldn't mind if you did a late night tutorial or video through the uh, RV again. I know. Oh, okay. So we're um, getting close to being to where I think it's ready for photos, and I will do that. I'm going to take still shots of it so I can make posts and a blog post, and then I'll do a live and we'll walk through it because I want to show you guys. I painted some fabric in there. I want to show you guys what that feels like, and, and I think you can only get a feel for that on camera. So, so stick with me. What's today? Thursday? Maybe this weekend. How, how, how's it looking there? I'm trying to think what we have left to do. I'm done with my stuff. I've just made a mess. Drilling and... I have to vacuum. That's what I have left to do. Happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this weekend, but keep an eye out. We have an, another video coming because I think we're, we're close to phase one. We're going to call it phase one because I think there's still more to do. How but many phases do we have? Just so I know. At least 28. Oh. At least 17. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for the anniversary wishes. I'm going to pop off. You guys have a great weekend. Great weekend. Um, and I will catch you guys next Thursday. Thank you.